Salam alaikum Sira Masters. Just up here got the sunset behind me. Hopefully that's gonna give me some decent lighting. When I talk to you about success, that's what I wanted to talk about this week, inshallah. <laughs> Now success, what is success? What do you think of when you think of success? Is it money? Well, you might think that subconsciously because of the messages being sent to you. You might think fame though, and you know, a lot of Muslims, they are famous and we look up to them. You know, a lot of teachers, a lot of scholars, etc. They're famous and you know, we wanna be famous too perhaps. We want to do great things and to be known for it by the world. But is that necessarily success? Um, so how do we define success? You know, how would a Sira master, how would a Muslim aiming for the highest look at success? How would they define it? I would say firstly, success is Jannah, is getting to Jannah. Uh, that is the number one success. Once you're in Jannah, and by the way, how do you know if you're successful then? You only know once you're dead, right? So that means it's something that is ongoing, trying to get to success. The second level though, Jannah is the general thing. The second level though is how you get to Jannah. What is your method? What is the gate of Jannah in which you enter? Uh, and that's where it depends on you, depends on your skills, your circumstances, the opportunities given to you by Allah. Um, and you can see that in Surah Al-Mu'minun, for example, it begins with Qad aflah al-Mu'minun. The true believers have been successful. Okay, so Allah has defined it for us. And then the Surah goes on to give the attributes of these successful people. They, they are humble in their prayers, okay? They, they don't do zina, okay? They are, you know, they keep their chastity, etc. Um, and, and many, and the Quran is full of these kind of attributes. I would say then that success is not fame, really. Could be fame, could, could be a good thing for you. Money could be a good thing for you, but both of those could also be bad. Success is excelling in that thing that will get you to Jannah. You know, it could be that you become rich and you give a lot and you invest in the Ummah in the long term. You've got this long term vision of investing in the Ummah. You're not just thinking about, oh, there's a, there's a, a calamity happening here. People are dying today and you're investing in that. You're also thinking, ah, we need Muslim lawyers. Let me pay for this kind of scholarship. We need Muslim, I don't know, engineers. Let me pay for this scholarship. We need Muslim technology to be on point. We need the farms in the Muslim countries to have uh, the materials to be able to make organic stuff. To, so we have clean Muslim bodies, okay, with good stuff inside them. It could be that. It could be that, you know, no one really knows what you're up to, but in the depth of the night, you're praying to Allah, you're humble when you're praying to Allah, you're making deep dua to Allah, you're constantly thinking of Allah and, and asking for His forgiveness because you're humble and you're aware of your faults and you're aware of how imperfect you are compared to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, it could be that you you don't have much money to give, right? Uh, and maybe your direct ibadah to Allah, you know you're praying and stuff, but that's not where you're, you're excelling. Perhaps it's giving your time and your emotions and your effort to the people that need it. Maybe there are orphans in your community. Maybe there are people with bad family relationships and they don't have really strong relationships to anyone, but you're there for them. And they know that they can call upon you. They can trust that you're not gonna share their information with anyone. You're not gonna judge them. You're not gonna look down on them. You're just gonna be that ear that they need uh, and to lend them some support. Maybe not even advice, maybe just to listen to them and you're good at showing them that you actually care and you're actually listening. Um, it could be that you, you, you're a student of, of Islam, of, of the Book of Allah and of the life and the teachings of the Prophet and that you teach that and that you, you look into new fiqh issues that you know only arrived in our current time and that they need to be dealt with uh, by someone who is an intellectual uh, in the world sense, in the sense that you know about a bit of medicine, you know you're a polymath basically, you know about medicine, you know about engineering, you know about uh, anthropology and you study the Sharia and so you can make some very clever, very wise uh, rulings in terms of the modern day. So, you know, there are so many doors to enter Jannah. Well, Lillah alhamd, you know, it's one of the great mercies of Allah that there are so many ways to enter Jannah and uh, it could also be fasting. You know, there are so many good deeds we can do. It could be actually that you are handicapped. You're handicapped and you can't do much, but you're grateful to Allah nonetheless and you're patient with your disability 
It could be that you know you, you couldn't do much in your life. All your friends or all the people you knew, they're going to halaqat, they're memorizing the Quran, they're studying, they're traveling to do this, they're giving money here, they're making big money and they're spending it in the way of Allah. But you're stuck at home because your parents need you there all the time. And you served them the best that you could. Success, is that not success? The point I wanted to raise is twofold. The first that, you know, success is many avenues and very many paths and secondly that success is not that people know that you did that success you will not know it necessarily until you die and secondly the people may never know the people may never know uh, i see it far too much that people are associating uh, good muslims with acts of worship that are known right you gave a talk oh he's a half of Oh, he, he fasts every Monday. Oh, she did this. Oh, she did that. What if no one knew it? Is that not success still? It's success. It's still success. So take this message to heart, inshallah. Be successful in your way. If it's truly for the sake of Allah, who needs to know? No one needs to know. If they know, okay, so be it. But no one needs to know. You don't need to be famous. You don't even need to be known by anyone, right? Everyone, every single person should have some secret worship that they do. Definitely, no doubt about that. Um, even the famous people, they should always keep some things that are private between them and Allah. So, uh, here from uh, the sky above me, the sun, that way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Succeed. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.